rising time. This is a 2021 joint water budget meeting uh, between Farmington, Canandaigua, and Hopewell. Uh, I have uh, Supervisor Wakeman from Hopewell here and Supervisor Menkos. If you could uh, just say who else is here for the record. We have Terry Finale, Gary Davis, Jared Simpson, Jim Fletcher, and Dr. That's it. And yes. Linda, Linda Dworzak on the Zoom. Hi, Linda. Hi. So uh, we have a full time board confirmed tonight, and we have a uh, staff of Ronald McDonald, Ronald McDonald, yeah. Ronald Brand, <laughs> Robin McDonald, um, Bill Davis, Cringers, and Dan Delacore, and Don Drew, our Ivan Superintendent, and our clerk, Michelle Finney. Uh, so everybody, we did have a handout for you. Uh, the first page basically goes over the budget numbers in a, in a, in a brief. Um, again, the budget is uh, down about two hundred four thousand dollars from the current budget. And I listed major expenses of wages, health insurance, uh, what we pay the city of Canada for for the water. Uh, equipment, water, water meters, and money set aside for capital projects and building reserve. I only increased the water revenues about $10,000 for next year. Um, it's been so wet the last two years, we really haven't seen a lot of income, uh, extra income. And this $10,000, as I mentioned in the next paragraph, is Partial, partially part of that is going to be um, we'll end up raising our water rates because uh, I'm pretty sure the city of Camp Bay was going to raise the rates because they didn't sell as much water. Yeah, I was uh, looking at the third quarter, I and the second quarter, we're not normally where we have been the past couple of years. So I would anticipate five, uh, eight, eight cents a thousand, they might go up. So, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and at the Waterworks Conference, people employer just gave me a heads up. By the way, the water rate will go up. Yeah. When we get that letter in October, anyways, so they don't finalize it till February, March time frame. So. The next page is uh, list of water projects. I'll have uh, Rotman cover the first part of that. For 2021 projects. Good evening. Uh, in Elber installed 4,750 linear feet of the PDS PR14 PDC and Cathoy as a big project on kind of road 41 and 332. Developer installed 1,750 feet of 8 inch PR14 Albert Meadows subdivision. Seven north and eight north. They uh, installed 1,450 linear feet. Uh, contractor installed 1,745 linear feet of water main upgrade on the intersection of 96 and <coughs> Potencia Road. To be with our fire hydrant painting, maintenance, and crushing from the Canada Farming and Modern District. We continue replacing the older 1970 Kennedy K 11 fire hydrants and guard valves for the new 2020 3 bit Kennedy K 1Bs and new 6 inch guard valves. Thanks, Robin. Yep. Um, I failed to mention that Councilman Barnum will be here shortly. Just getting off work. Uh, next bullet there is uh, we just recently secured the department health approval to replace the water tank on Brick Air Road and add a new transmission line uh, to the Farmington Town Line Road. And we're hoping to schedule that bid this fall. On the next page, I mentioned it again, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that when we, when we get to that point. 
We have uh, completed engineering design for the replacement of the 8 inch water main, 332 and 96. That was in this year's budget, $680,000. Um, we're still waiting on Department of Health approval. So, as soon as we get that, we'll put that up to bid also. They, they're telling us three to five more weeks. As Robin mentioned, we completed the engineering and design of the 8 inch and 10 inch water main at Tennessee Road and, and 96. That went north as far as the north property line of the apartment complex. And that work is, is complete now. We've had four breaks on New York State Route 332 between County Road 41 and 96. Um, we will require a board under the wetlands area. I just hope our employees can do the remaining work. This line is currently shut off because of the amount of breaks we had. And it's our intention right now to use uh, ARP funds to place that line. It's about 3,300 3, feet in the Next page, 2022 water projects. Again, we mentioned that you know, New York City 96 and Retensia section is complete. We have a section going north from where we left off the apartments just north of Elizabeth Way that we were originally going to have to go out and bid on this and, and it wasn't in this year's budget or next year's budget. However, uh, we have a contractor willing, he, he needs to do a long length of Retensia Road for the property he's going to buy for a townhouse project. And if they get the approvals with the planning board, He's agreed to put in our remaining section of the water line as long as we buy the uh, fixtures as part of this project. So I did put in the 22 budget, $125,000 for the hydrants, the valves, and, and fixtures. And hopefully he gets approval from the planning board. And that's a 10 inch water line uh, going north. As I mentioned in the first page, Richard Water Tank, I, we did get the final uh, Department of Health approvals. That was estimated to be a $9,036,000 project. In previous meetings, we mentioned that we did put up $1 million from the water fund balance towards that project. Uh, we currently had at least, I believe it's a half million dollars left in there. The grant award was $3,614,400. Three million six hundred fourteen thousand four hundred, and the balance, uh, approximately four point five million, would be bonded. Uh, Bill, you have anything in the timing of that? Yeah, so we're pretty much ready to go at this point. We have uh, put together a draft bid schedule. Um, I think we would target award at the December first meeting in December. Uh, for the town of Farmington, which means we would bid um, in the beginning of November. Between now and then, we're going to probably sit down one last time with all the staff, superintendents, uh, one last review of the plans. Um, I do have a color selection and a rendering for the for the uh, logo on the tank here tonight. If anybody's interested in seeing that, and also the plans are here, if anybody's interested in or has any questions on that project. Um, so pretty soon we'll be kind of where we fall number wise. One of the things we agreed to was having a joint public meeting <clears throat> once we know the numbers uh, so that we can reach out to the residents of the district and um, you know, discuss the, the funding of the project and all that to, to make sure the public is ready to get into that. It's been a while since we did the bond resolution and you know, talked about it publicly because we've been waiting so long for the, you know, the design and, and the Department of Health uh, approvals. Anybody at this time have any questions? Okay, North Road. 
Uh, there's approximately 3,000 linear feet remaining. I have in the 2022 20, 20, budget $300,000, and it's estimated the remainder somewhere between 222 and 250,000 needed to complete the project. So my plan was to bid that late summer, early fall for the whole section and put in the 2023 budget the, the extra $250,000. We'll also work on design work uh, starting at 332 on County Road 8 going north to the candidate for Farmington Town Line Road to get the design done. And then in a future year, we'll look at uh, doing at least 332 north to Purdy Road. And then a future year, Purdy Road north to 332 as we can afford it. Thank you. Uh, next button is 332 and Collette Road. It's been out there for a long time. We've had numerous water main breaks in that area. Um, my plan is to use some of our ARP funds to finally get that location done. And then Hope Road under the New York State Freeway has been shut off for a few months. We've had numerous breaks there between on the north side of the throughway uh, to the water line rises up to the, the top of uh, Hope Road. So Tom has been in contact with the New York State Thruway. And we're looking at instead of doing another bore and complete water line is we're looking at relining that water line at the same location. So depending on the cost, uh, some of our ARP funds could possibly also pay for that. Probably plans on continued valve maintenance and fire right and flushing in the district. And we have a few more, probably in uh, 2022, a few more of the older uh, hydrants to replace. And then the second bullet there is the Badger water meters, uh, always replacing them every year. Future projects 2023 and beyond. Yerkes Road, Road, we did do some replacement in kind, and we'll continue that. It's, Time permits. Um, finish the 332 and 96 north south line here, the road. So, when I mentioned earlier about the 680,000 in this current year budget, that was to do the east west water line, and we'll have an alternative to see what it's going to cost us for the north south. But uh, at this, you know, it may be a just a future project, we won't be able to do it with the existing money. Uh, 23 and beyond, again, balancing the Texas Club Road, 332 area, Cranberry Drive and Farmbrook, and Dalton Drive and Farmbrook. I believe both of them have been engineered, We're just waiting for the time to coordinate with the highway department and uh, do that. Cranberry Cranberry is less than 100,000. Drives, a lot more money, so a longer road. Um, behind this is, is the detail line by line of the budget with the five year average and current budget and current 2022 proposed budget. And then the tech sheet, which I had sent about a month ago, so it hasn't, hasn't changed. Give everybody a second look at that, and, and obviously, you need questions. That's the first or the second sheet, then. First, second. So I'll get rid of the next one. Well, 
Questions or comments? Yes, sir. Yes, but, uh, we have all these leases in the age of it, the construction of the pipe, is it soil condition? <laughs> it's, it's a combination of age, age and soil conditions. Uh, some of it's in a, a very wet, swampy area. <coughs> One under Hook Road and the north side is very wet. And 332 uh, at 3,300 feet, there's probably half of that is in the swamp. Put the iron or cast iron, or <coughs> what's left to do up there is on cast iron. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for asking. But should we mention uh, North and Andrews Road accommodation? Sure, yeah. yeah. So, kind of like with town board, uh, we'll have a resolution. I don't know if it'll be this month or next month, but the problem with the resolution, I'm saying that they have to draft it. But, but um, we will, the North and Andrews Road Water District, which is on the on the very last page, you actually see it listed separately. You see Farmington County for North and Andrews. And you see that the assessed value for the North and Andrews Road Water District is at $27 million. We'd be consolidating the North and Andrews Road Water District into the Canadigal Farms Water District up the town of San Diego, rolling that over into that so that that becomes part of that now that the debt is paid off on the North, Road, North and Andrews Road Water District. Okay. Yep, that's why you see the tax rate is the same. No doubt. The record councilman Marlin is ready. I 
everybody's looking everything over. Um, but for Jim, did you get the email to be from Don McClamp? There's some guidance that just came on Kathy's side. I didn't have a chance to call her. So, guidance on uh, water relays, uh, what the state PSC has said, and the county's going to be looking for documentation. We follow follow procedures and then certify it. So we, yeah, we have our information about our water bills requested from customer to request it from us. Last time we had like five people to request the dollar. Maybe the people asked to pay for it last time. So we'll see what happens. So, yeah, our 4,500 customers or accounts. Uh, now, obviously, some of that's bigger commercials, but I think we had like 32 to 35 people certified early on, but half of them kept up with their payments and agreements, the other half didn't. Yeah. We sent them another letter that said, hey, you're not following the procedure. And then we you know, sent them information that you're, you're subject to getting relevy because the governor did away with the emergency. So we think we followed. All the procedures to relevy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Are there any other questions on the budget? I'd like a motion to approve the budget in a second. Almost second. I'm sure Renee had her money. Any further questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Budget is approved. Uh, Mr. Drew, you're also here on the sewer side of the house. Did you have any comments or questions? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else you brought to the board? Uh, and a motion to adjourn. Cool. So moved by Terry. Second, Second by Supervisor Renegades. All in favor? Thank you. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you. Thank you.